The object stayed on the ground for more than 20 minutes, then took off rapidly, and some say it was buzzed by five aircraft. The school children were warned never to speak of it, authorities telling them that flying saucers just don't exist. But 50 years later, witnesses insist they know exactly what they saw. We noticed these three craft hovering above the school, um, which was a bit unusual. They were definitely weren't aircraft. And then after about 10 minutes, we saw one go down into an area behind our school called the Grange. After a few minutes, it just raised up above me, probably to about well, 12 feet, turned on its side and went zoom straight up into the air and disappeared almost instantly. And there were two other craft in the air at the time. Yes, definitely a UFO. Um, I was actually in science class and we had a um, st student had rung in and flung the door open and said, Mr Greenwood, Mr Greenwood, there's things in the sky, there's flying saucers in the sky. So we all ran down the corridor and out onto the oval and yes, there were flying saucers in the sky. Um, but we were down the back, I was down the back of the oval with Tanya when we noticed it in the sky. Um, it did some manoeuvres which were very strange, which is why our attention was drawn to it in the first place. And then it came down over the Grange, we could see it coming down, so we took off after it. It could move incredibly fast and it could also appear to stand still. When it took off from the other f aircraft that were buzzing it, um, it made them look as though they were at standstill. 96 witnesses so far have been happy to talk to me about the flying saucer that they saw. 147 people have come forward and spoken to me about the circles in the paddocks that were left behind by the flying saucer. A man walked up to me. He was in blue, so he may have been Air Force or perhaps police, I'm not sure put his um, hand on my shoulder and told me to stop talking and go back into the school and then turned around to the, film, uh, the cameraman and the reporter and told them both to go away. The army arrived opposite the school in three um, jeeps and jumped out of the back and they were in uh, camouflage gear and all that sort of stuff. So they were sort of out the school for quite a while. And then we had a, a special assembly, we were all called to a special assembly and told that we hadn't seen anything, it was a weather balloon, we're all massively hysterical, don't talk about it, if you talk about it you'll get into trouble. And I got detention because I had been interviewed by oh. Channel 9.